What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing chapter 21, problem 36, in the Fundamentals of Physics 10th edition textbook by Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 21 is all about Coulomb's Law, and in problem 36 we were talking about nuclear transformations, and we were asked what is produced if a certain transformation happens. And so in part A, we are told that a proton transforms into a neutron and then we are asked if an electron or a positron is also produced. So for now I'm going to just say plus x and then we can figure out what x is by doing a charge balance. And so a proton has a charge of plus one, a neutron has a charge of zero, and x we don't know yet so we're just going to leave that as x. And so if we do this charge balance this right here will be 1 is equal to 0 plus x, meaning that x is equal to 1. And if x is equal to 1, that must mean that x is a positron. If it was an electron, the charge would have been negative 1. And so that is your final answer for part A, and part B is fairly similar. Part B says if a neutron is transformed into a proton, is an electron or a positron produced. So again, I'm gonna say plus x. The x goes on this side because this is the side where things are produced, and this is the side where things are started. And so this is essentially the reverse of part A, since part A we went from proton to neutron, and now we're going from neutron to proton. And so again, we'll do the same thing we did in part A, and we'll do a charge balance. So here we have zero, and a proton is a plus one charge, and again, we don't know what x is yet, so we'll leave it as an x. And so we can write that in an equation form and say zero is equal to one plus x, meaning that x is equal to negative one, meaning that x must be an electron, because electrons have a charge of minus one. And so that is your final answer for part b. Alright, so that's about it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video, and lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.